All right, so in this video, we are going to sketch using nothing but this little guy, a big round stick and a regular printing paper. And we're gonna use one single marker. Uh, for this exercise, I'm gonna use, actually, I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use, let's see what we have here. Uh, it has to be a marker that's kind of in the middle of the range of shade from light to dark. So I want to use, uh, let's see what this is. This looks kind of cool. Yeah, we can use this one. Oh, and by the way, you can get these markers from born to sketch.com. They are way cheaper than the regular ones that I use. So check them out if you want to. So I'm going to sketch a uh, car because that's uh, super fun. So that's what we're going to do. First of all, let's just get the basic stuff down. down. So let's make uh, some wheels here. And let's connect those wheels. And let's make... Uh, what kind of car do we want this to be? What happens if we put the line... Like this. Is that like a hatchback? Except for the hood, it looks smashed. So I gotta fix that. Let's add. Uh, man, hatchbacks difficult to sketch. But uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I almost never do it. So why not? But it's going to require some music, so I gotta put on some music first. Let's see. Ah, uh, there we go. Done. All right, so hatchback. That doesn't look right. Let's try the angle like this, maybe. Looks better. And the front, I'm not too happy with. Let's see if we can adjust as we go. It looks okay. It looks decent. That's one way to mess up a wheel. Just like that. <laughs> see if we can do this one better. Not really. It's fine. <laughs> So, uh, just gonna fill in these lines here, the basic uh, features of this car. And let's show the wheels on the other side of the car as well. And plant this car to the ground. Bam. Is that a greenhouse? Some windows and stuff. Uh, should be a two door or a four door or five door if it's a hatchback, I guess. Let's make it a two door. So there we have the cut line for the door. And let's make the graphics for the rear lights ah uh, let's see maybe this will work that looks super super weird it looks like this is t way too far in like this line here should end here somewhere but i'm gonna keep it anyway And just keep filling in these lines. And we need some front lights too, so let's just make them super basic. Like Skoda lights. Skoda Fabia or something. Air intakes. Uh, horizon line. Bam. Let's make a swoosh down here. 
not not enough space to continue the swoosh at the back <laughs> All right, I'm happy with this. So let's say we only have one single marker. All our other markers have gone dry. And uh, we're stuck with uh, one mint green light. That's the only marker that we have. So how are we supposed to shade this car with only one marker? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that should be over there. That should be over there. There. So we have the one marker and we have our big pen. Now the challenge is to make this a decent rendering using these tools. So what you want to do is decide where the light source is. And if you've been watching my videos before, uh, my other videos I say this almost every single time that uh, deciding where the light source is is always step number one before you start doing any rendering or any even if before you start thinking about line weight and stuff like that you always need to keep in mind where the light source is and if you I kind of always have the light source be at the same at the same pos position because it just makes everything more easy to remember. Uh, and that is up here. So I want the light source to come from here. Here's the sun. So that means that this area here is going to be a bit brighter than, for example, this area over here. And it also means that the sun is hitting the ground here and it is hitting the horizon so the horizon is going to be reflecting in the body of the car it's also going to be reflecting on each panel that is facing straight towards me so it's going to be reflect reflecting in the uh in the glass here for example as well since that is a surface that's facing towards me so let's just fill that out All right, so if you want to add some markers to this, you kind of want to add the markers only on the spaces or areas where where you have some shade, shading. So the areas, the surfaces that are in the shade or that are reflecting the horizon, for example. So we can start by the largest area that, that's reflecting something. And in this case, it's this area right here, the horizon line, or the horizon basically being reflected in the car. So let's start by just adding some some lines here or some uh, markers. And I want to add around the wheel as well. Same thing in the front. So we only have one shade to play around with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the surfaces that are facing upwards towards the sky, I'm gonna leave those surfaces white. Since they are reflecting the sun and they are reflecting the sky. So naturally that's going to be, those areas are going to be light. I think this body panel here can still add some green to it. Maybe raise this shoulder shoulder line just a little bit. And if you want to have some darker shading, you can always come back and fill in some parts once this first layer has dried. Because when you do that, you're gonna get a darker shade. So that's about it. I mean, if you wanna keep things really simple, that's how you do it. And then you just uh, start to fill in the black lines and the line weight with your pen. And of course, you can start to go in, like do line shading here if you want to do that. 
to visualize a darker shade. And we can uh, fill out, fill in their spokes as well. Depending on how rendered you want this sketch to be, you can, it can take from, I don't know, 10 minutes to about an hour to make a sketch, to finish a sketch like this. Totally depends on what you're looking for and kind of what you want to visualize. This would be way easier if you had a black marker, of course. So you don't have to fill in the lines with several big lines and make the thicknesses and all of that. But that's one way of doing it. So let's say we have a rear view. We can do the same thing here. Let's see a hatchback in rear, three quarter rear, something like this. Is that wheel in the correct spot? I'm not sure. Let's say it is. Let's make this wheel turn. Looks cool like that so if we have uh if we just want to visualize this really quick and we only have one marker i mean how often do you end up do you find yourself in a situation where you only have one marker it doesn't really happen that often but who knows so we might as well practice it let's see how do these lights go here this is not the same car i can tell right now, but <laughs> I think you get the point. Uh, that is some weird graphics in the back here. I don't know what, what, what is going on here. And let's add some exhausts. Okay, so we want to add some markers to this. Same thing here. We have the horizon line. It's going to be here. And it's going to continue all the way back here. And also, probably this surface. Thing is, when you do this, you're gonna see what looks right and what doesn't. And if you don't, if you have issues like seeing it, then uh, study real pictures of cars standing like studio pictures. Uh, and just try to figure out how the reflections work. And, uh, um, how the reflections are being shown in the body of the car. Same thing here, if we want to, we can add, you know, the uh, big pen again. And go as crazy as we want. Not sure about this rear end. So yeah, I hope uh, I hope this short video was useful to you. And uh, if you have any ideas on what you want to see in the future in coming videos, I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos. So just let me know what you want to see. 
and I might be able to make a video on it. All right, thanks so much for watching and uh, I will see you next time. Now I'm gonna try and fix this rear end <laughs> because this is all messed up right this this area right here but i'm gonna try and fix it or maybe not maybe i'll just start a new one i think that's an even better idea because this sketch is gone all right i'll see you next time guys take it easy